Hi, I'm Jason Smart and I'm in Sarajevo, capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Due to its mixture of Ottoman and European history, it's often known as the city where East meets West. There's mosques and there's churches everywhere. In 1914, one of the most significant events in modern history happened in this city. It's where a young Bosnian Serb assassinated Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria, which kick-started World War I. Fast forward 80 years and the hills around here were the scene of shelling and bombings that bombarded the city during the siege of Sarajevo. For four years in the 1990s, bombs and shells rained down on the city killing 20,000 people, 5,000 of them civilians. Today, Sarajevo is a vibrant and friendly city, one of the safest in Europe. Let's go and see the sights. So this is Marika Han, originally built by the Ottomans in the 16th century. It was like a roadside inn. It's burnt down a few times, but in its heyday, it could support 300 people and 70 horses. But now it's used as a restaurant and a carpet shop and a few religious activities as well. So a 10 minute walk away, but uphill brings me to this. So all these graves are from the people who died in that terrible conflict from 1992 to 1996. It was the longest siege in the history of modern warfare. So now I'm in the heart of Sarajevo, the main old square. In its heyday in the 15th century, this was one of the major trading hubs of the whole of the Balkan. Nowadays it's full of pigeons and people enjoying their little coffees. Yeah, I love Sarajevo. I came here last time 13 years ago. I loved it then. I love it even more now. It's an amazing city. Look at all the metal workshops. Look at these. And you can hear like tapping away where people are making things like tapping to make little magnets. So this mosque behind me is known as the Emperor's Mosque, another relic from Ottoman times. Huge minaret. But I think it's time now we head for where that major event in European history happened, the Latin Bridge. Just behind me on the other side of the river in 1914, Archduke Franz Ferdinand's cavalcade was travelling along there. There was people lined up everywhere, but there was also a few bombers waiting. Uh, some of them threw them, but they didn't blow up. A few of them failed to throw them, they're too scared. One of them sort of damaged a car behind the Archduke. The Archduke sped on up to City Hall, where he waited for a while, and then drove back along here. And over there, his car made a wrong turn. And as it was doing a U-turn, a Bosnian Serb named Gavrilo Princi spotted him and shot him. And that was the spark that caused World War I. So let's walk across. And let's find, if we can, the point where the shooting happened. Here it is, say so on that sign. So that's Ferhadia Mosque. Friday prayers has begun. So it's called the Grand Cathedral and it is grand. And there is one of the Sarajevo roses. So a shell came down from the hills, killed three or more people there. And you can see where the shell impacted and went that way. And there's 200 of these littered around Sarajevo. So I'm in a city centre market that during the conflict was the scene of absolute horror when some shells on two separate occasions rained down onto here full of people buying their products, killed over a hundred people. There's a list of names here. You wouldn't think that happened just by looking at it nowadays. Just across the road, the meat market selling every type of meat imaginable. What was that? So one of the uh, stall holders just gave me a little slither of meat to try. It was delicious. So just come to this pretty little square with this statue called Multicultural Man given by Italy in 1997. Nice church. The largest Orthodox cathedral in Bosnia. 
I'll tell you what, it smells holy in here. It smells like incense. It's really nice. So this road here is the main thoroughfare in Sarajevo. And during the conflict, it was known as Sniper Alley because the hills that surrounded it look beautiful now, but they were full of sniper nests and mortar round people. And that's where a lot of the journalists stay there. They used to be called the Holiday Inn. So yes, Sarajevo's changed a lot since I was last here. It's more modern, there's glass buildings everywhere, modern skyscrapers, people seem affluent. I think it's doing well for itself. And do you know what? I've said it before, but I love Sarajevo. Another Sarajevo rose. So before I go to the cable car, I just thought I'd stop at this little sculpture park. What are they about? I'm passing so many grand buildings, I think I should just have a montage of a few grand buildings of Sarajevo. Here they are. Yeah, I think that'll do for the sort of buildings. But how great are they? So I've just come across this memorial. I read somewhere that during the siege, virtually every family in Sarajevo either had someone killed or knew someone killed. So I've just come to the eternal flame, soldiers killed in the wars. So getting close to the cable car, just passing this glorious church. So at various intervals today I've heard church bells ringing and the call to prayer from the mosque. It is where East meets West. Made it to the cable car station. Got my ticket for 20 Bosnian marks, which is 10 euros return journey. Here it comes. And off we go. Should take about seven minutes. You can get a good feel for these hills and how much of a, a view the snipers would have had of the city. Right, well, just climbed out, let's see what we can see. Just the mist and the hills. So yeah, I think it was worth coming up here to have a look. And back down into the total drizzle now. So I'm down at the bottom and I'm staring at the magnificent City Hall. And that is where Archduke Ferdinand went after that first attempt on his life. He holed up in there for a bit, but then he went off and that's when he got shot. Back to the hotel. So it's about an hour later, night has fallen. I think it's time for something to eat and maybe get a local Sarajevo beer. So I've picked a random restaurant and they've got that traditional Bosnian food. So that's what I'm going to get. This is what Bosnian money looks like. 10 mark, which is worth 5 euros. And here it is. Delicious. Well, I've come to a pub. Let's see if I can get the beer. So there we are back at the hotel so that is goodbye from Sarajevo but stay tuned because my next video will be from the least visited country in Europe Moldova see you then I'm Jason Smart and if you've liked this travel video please click subscribe